Hello, Orange Room friends. Let's sing our hello song. One, two, three. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hola, 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 y como estas? Muy bien, muy bien. Y espero que tú también. Okay, so let's take a look at our calendar. Look how many days we have in March. We're almost at the end of March. So it's been a few days since I've seen you and a lot, some more days have been added to the calendar. But yesterday, it looks like we had a shamrock. So let's see what our pattern is again. Do you remember? Sun, sun, raindrop, raindrop, shamrock, shamrock, 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 sun, sun, raindrop, raindrop, shamrock, shamrock. And yesterday, was March 29. So we've got 29. Now, what comes after 29? That's kind of tricky because we're going to go and we're going to start the 30s. So the next number is going to start with a 3. And it's a 3 and a 0. And that number is 30. So we're going to put that right up here. A sham 30 and a shamrock. And then let's see what day of the week it is. So yesterday was Sunday. So we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So remember which one we did this on? It was Monday. And that Monday comes after Sunday. So we're going to go all the way down the Monday column. And that's our date. And here is, this says Monday. It starts with an M, M, Monday. Okay. Now I'm going to take our calendar down. Because we have a song to sing. And got something else to show you. So last time we were here, I talked about making a picture book. So I made a little picture book about a song we're going to sing. The name of the song is Little Cabin in the Woods. So I've got the title of, I made a picture book about it. So that's the title of my picture book. And then it says illustrated by Anne, because that means I drew the pictures. And it goes like, little cabin in the woods, little man by the window stood, saw a rabbit hopping by, knocking at my door, right there. Help me, help me, help, he said. For the hunter waits ahead. Little rabbit, come inside. Safely you may hide. So our song has some motions. We kind of try to make the shape of a cabin. So it's little cabin in the woods. Little man by the window stood, saw a rabbit hopping by, knocking at my door. Help me, help me, help, he said, for the hunter waits ahead. Little rabbit, come inside, safely you may hide. And you can sing this song kind of 
It's a little like the way we did bingo, where we sing it over again, but we can erase our pictures and hum a line, and then the next time we sing it, we hum two lines until we're humming the whole song. So instead of clapping, we're going to hum. So let's give this a try. So this time I've got my trusty little paper towel to erase our numbers. So it's going to go like this. Little cabin in the wood, little man by the window stood, saw a rabbit hopping by, knocking at my door. Help me, help me, help, he said, for the hunter waits ahead. Little rabbit, come inside. Safely you may hide. Okay, now I'm going to raise the little cabin in the woods. And we're going to hum that part. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Little man by the window stood. Saw a rabbit hopping by, knocking at my door. Help me, help me, help, he said, for the hunter waits ahead. Little rabbit, come inside, safely you may hide. Okay, let's erase the little man standing by the window. And we'll hum that part. <laughs> Saw a rabbit hopping by, knocking at my door. Help me, help me, help, he said, for the hunter waits ahead. Lit Little rabbit, come inside, safely you may hide. All right, we're going to race our little hopping bunny. And we're going to hum. Knocking at my door. Help me, help me, help, he said. For the hunter waits ahead. Little rabbit, come inside. Safely you may hide. Okay, I'm going to race the bunny, the rabbit that's knocking on the door. Okay. Let's hum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Help me, help me, help, he said, for the hunter waits ahead, little rabbit. Come inside, safely you may hide. Okay, let's erase our bunny asking for help. Humming the whole song now. <laughs> 
little rabbit come inside safely you will hide okay we're gonna erase this one now we're really humming a lot of the song ready Safely you will hide. Okay, now we're going to hum our whole song just doing our motions. Are you ready? That's an old camp song. I remember my kids used to sing that when they were little. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Okay, now we've actually got a, another storybook for one that I didn't illustrate. <laughs> so it's called Home for a Bunny, written by Margaret Weiss Brown. Spring sang the frog. Spring said the ground frog, groundhog. Spring, spring, spring sang the robin. It was spring. The leaves burst out, the flowers burst out, and the robins burst out of their eggs. It was spring. In the spring, a bunny came down the road. He was going to find a home of his own, a home for a bunny, a home of his own, under a rock, under a stone, under a log, or under the ground, where would a bunny find a home? Let's see if we get the lighting here a little better. Where is your home, he asked the robin. Here, 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 sang the robin. Here, in this nest, is my home. Here, 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 sang the little robins who were about to fall out of the nest. Here is our home. Not for me, said the bunny. I would fall out of a nest. I would fall on the ground. I think the baby robins can fly, but not the bunny, right? So he went on looking for a home. Where is your home? He asked the a frog. Wog, 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 sang the frog. Wog, 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 under the water, down in the bog. Not, there's the frog. Not for me, said the bunny. Under the water, I would drown in a bog. I don't think the bunny knows how to swim. So he went on looking for a home. Where do you live? He asked the groundhog. In a log, said the groundhog. Can I come in? Asked the bunny. No, you can't come in my log, said the groundhog. He met a bunny. He met a bunny. Where is your home? He asked the bunny. Whoops. Here, said the bunny, here is my home. Under this rock, under this stone, down under the ground, here is my home. Can I come in? Said the bunny. Yes, said the bunny, and so he did.
the end. I think. Oh, and that was his home. Oh, look, they look so snugly in there. Okay, so I was thinking, do you maybe have a stuffed animal at your house? I didn't have a bunny other than this little tiny finger puppet. But I do have a bear. And a bear needs a home too, right? So I thought maybe we could look around our house and try to find some things that we could make a home for one of our animals. So I have some things. Let me get this calendar out of the way. I've got some things that we keep it similar to what we have at our maker's table at school. I found some boxes. I found some cardboard. This used to be a box and then it got flattened out, but I can maybe make a box out of it again. I've got some different things that came as packing material. And I've got another box and I've got just a flat piece of cardboard. And I've got a few of these that I've been saving. I don't know if you have any of these around. I know some of you might have used this with, to make a magic wand. So I also looked around and I found some other things. I have a scissors, but I didn't really have a regular scissors that was perfect for kids to use, for children to use, except for I had these scissors that make, these are more like children's scissors, like we have in the orange room, but they, these make actually little um, designs, like this one has kind of a curvy line, and this one has sort of a zigzaggy line. So these aren't smooth edges, they make a, a different type of thing, but they do cut and they're kind of fun to work with. And then I found, I actually had some glue. I don't know if you have any glue like this. And I had some string and I had some tape. And I think I had a glue stick somewhere, but I don't know where it went. So anyway. So I thought maybe I could see what I could find. Maybe you have a shoe box or something, but oh, here's my glue stick. I have a big glue stick. But anyway, I have this and this actually had kind of folds in it already because it used to be a box and then it got flattened out. So I'm just gonna fold this on the corners and I'm gonna take some of my tape here and I'm gonna put some tape on it. So, let me see, you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm folding, this one's kind of an easy job because it was already a box, so it's already folded in the right places. You might have to work with whatever you've got to work with a little more, but that's part of the fun of it, is figuring out how things fit together and how what you can make out of different things. So anyway, I've got this box and I think this could sort of be like the little cave for my bear, but it doesn't look very comfortable, does it? So I actually found some of this and it came in a package with some of the packing material. So I'm gonna just actually, I'm gonna tear this. And I've got some, I'm going to kind of scrunch it up so that it's kind of a little bit more of a, sort of a little soft bed for my bear. Kind of like maybe leaves would be if he were outside and um, looking for something to make a bed out of. And then, let's see. I want my little home for my bear to be kind of hidden by some grass. So I found, I actually had a little bit of green tissue paper. It was in my, with my wrapping paper stuff. And I also had some plain paper. I didn't have any green construction paper or anything like that. But I did, I, I think I 
have a green marker. So I'm going to take my green marker and I'm going to color my paper. So I've got my green marker and I'm going to color all over it with my green marker so it looks kind of like fresh spring grass. This is a spring green color that I happen to have. So it's kind of the color of the grass when it first comes up in the spring. And I am just going to color all over it. Make it green. And then I'm going to I'm actually going to Tear my paper. I could use one of my scissors, or maybe I'll try this fancy scissors. So see, this scissor makes kind of a bumpy edge. Or I could just tear it if I don't have a scissors. And I'm gonna make some tear some some blades, some grass blades. And these are kind of then I'm going to pretend like this is going to be grass growing around my bed for my bear. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put glue on my edge of my box. And I'm going to stick this grass up. And you know what? I think it needs a little more green. So I'm going to go. There we go. And then I'm going to take another piece. And I'm going to stick that on. Where'd my, oh, I think my, I think my glue stick rolled away. So, oh, here it is. Okay. So, here we go. I'm going to stick that one on. And I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this until my whole, my whole bed is covered in grass. And then I'm going to put my little soft, blanket of leaves inside and then I'm going to put my little bear in there and he's all nice and cozy and I'm going to even cover him up a little bit. Here little bear, let me tuck you in. There you go. He's all tucked in there now. So I thought maybe you could look around and um, see what you can find. I, I saw this and I thought, hmm, I wonder if that could be like a tree trunk. And then I could maybe use something like this to hold it in place. And then maybe somehow I could attach something like this box on top. And maybe I could somehow figure out a way to tap, tape it. And then if I had a little, little bird, a little bird toy, I could put a bird inside there. Maybe I could find some some pieces of scraps of shredded paper or something that could be the nest. So that's an idea. Um, I don't know what you have at your house, but it's that's what we makers do is we find things that we have around the house and we make things with it. So if you give that a try, I would love to hear about it. I'd love to hear about some of the things that you make. And then I wanted to say one more thing. Um, our friend Carolyn from our morning class she had a birthday last week. Her birthday was March 23rd. So it was, um, let's see, or maybe it was, it might have been March 24th. Oh, Carolyn, I have to look and double check which day. But anyway, it was last week. And I wanted to say happy birthday. So happy birthday, Carolyn. And to all, also the other thing I wanted to mention is that we wanted to, we men, I mentioned that I look at your pictures in the morning class and in the afternoon class, but do you know who I don't have a picture of? I don't have a picture of Raina from our morning class or a picture of Linda or Maria from our afternoon class. And I do, I have been talking a bit with Michelle. I don't really have her picture though. So let's say hi to Raina, Maria, Linda, and Michelle, too. And then um, I think that's about it for today. So goodbye, my orange room friends, and I'll see you.
see you next time. Bye-bye.